Hi, so welcome to the next installment in the Clawbot series. So today uh, we're going to be doing steps 9 through 13. And basically what these steps are all about is putting our chassis motors into our base. Um, and so I'll show you how we're going to do that. So here is our file. Um, this is where we left off last time. I do already have some screws and nuts imported into in here uh, that I'm going to be using. I'm just trying to make the video a little bit shorter um, <laughs> without having to be so monotonous. But what I don't have yet here are the, the motor assembly. So these are my chassis motors that I created previously, right? So the first thing I'm going to do today is I am going to insert those motors into this document. So this is something we haven't done previously. So I'm going to use the insert menu. And this time I am working within the current document. But you can see we have no parts here, but that's fine. But we do, if we click over here, have an assembly. And this assembly is our chassis motors. And we can bring them in and just drop them off somewhere. So actually, it turns out that we really only needed to make one of them. And then we could have brought it in and and um, actually, no, I'll take that back. We needed both of them, but we could have put them in separate, sort of separate uh, files as well. Um, so the first thing that we're going to need to do here, because I, I forgot for a second that they're not actually exactly identical to one another, um, but rather they are mirror images of one another. So I'm going to move them around a little bit because the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to reposition them so we can figure out which one goes on which side. If we go back to our build instructions and look carefully, we can see here that the chassis motor is actually pointing sort of towards the back of the U-shaped base. Um, and so they're not, not flipped forward. And so we wanna make sure that our motors are in the right orientation. So what we can do here is I can just double click on this and you can see that it gives me these arrows and these arrows allow me to rotate. And so I actually wanna rotate this exactly 90 degrees. So I'm gonna type that in there. And once I've done that, I can see that at a 90 degree angle, if I were to put this part right here on this side, that motor would be facing forward, which means that this is not the motor that goes on this side. It's actually the motor that goes on the other side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double click it again, and I'm going to reposition it the other way. Oop, sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. The one that I can't see at this angle, of course. Here we go. And I'm going to turn it around 180. I can just type that in because I want it to be exact. There we go. And so this, this motor is going to go on this side. And this one, I'm going to double click this one and go ahead and rotate it. Oh, wrong one again. Once again, we want this to be 90, so we're just going to type that in to make it exact. And so now, if I click off, you can see that this is actually the motor that goes on this side because we want that we want that motor to be facing toward the back, right? So I'm just going to set it right here so that I know which motor goes on which side. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and start um, putting in my mates for my motors. So we're going to be doing this. I'm going to rotate a actually here let me just go to a top view and so what i'm going to be doing is using a fasten mate like i previously had and i'm going to be mating this back piece right here into my frame now you can see that the chassis rails are kind of a pain in the neck to to put mates on because instead of just having normal squares like most vex pieces have they have this sort of slot and so i'm going to show you how we can make a mate and it'll work for that so I'm going to choose a fasten mate and I'm going to zoom way in and you can see that I get my little white squares where the mates can happen and I want to choose this center one way in the back. So that's my first mate and then I'm going to reposition this a little. Oh actually I forgot. Um, I need to flip my view over because I'm going to have to, I want it to be mated to the underside, right? So now I'm going to zoom in here and I want it to be three holes over. So this is our first hole. This is our second. So this is going to be our third hole. And it, it's going to go way in the back 
at the center of that hole. So when I put that, should be good. So let's flip it back over. Looking good. So we can actually even see that our drive shaft is going through our bearing flat just how we want it to. Nice job. Okay, so we're going to do the same process with our other um, with our other uh, chassis motor assembly. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to rotate this a little bit so it's a little easier to get to select when it's flat. And I'm going to zoom in even further because I want that center hole right there at the very back. There we go. So we'll zoom out. Once again, I'm going to flip this over because I want to make it to the underside. And I'm going to zoom in because I want it on the third hole over. And I'm going to put it right in the center. There we go. So should be good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this back into isometric view so we can see what we're working with. And wow, look at that. Looks pretty good. It looks, looks nice, right? So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start placing our nuts and our bolts so that, because remember that a lot of times in CAD, you wouldn't actually need to worry about putting in your nuts and your bolts because it's more about sort of seeing how the structure fits together. But um, this is just an exercise that we're doing in learning CAD. So we're actually going to take the time to put in all of our nuts and bolts and build the, the, uh, robot the way that we would if we were actually physically building it. So I just made, I just uh, selected the backside of that screw. We've done this many times, so I'm sure that you understand. And then I'm going to put that screw through. Here we go. The center. And I need to flip it. And I'm going to green check looks good so i'm going to do the same process and put one along into the back as well so let me grab a fasten mate and let me select the back side of one of these screws and then i'm going to put it through the third hole over in the back there we go flip it Looks good. Green check. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So let me grab the sky's convenient. And actually here. So reposition this guy a little bit. There we go. Remember that whatever you place your cursor on is what it's going to um zoom so let me move my video let's flip this around looks good and grab one of these guys here flip this over and i'm going to put it right here in the center of this one. And that's where all of our screws go. So now I'm going to go ahead and start uh, putting nuts on them. So zoom in, get this guy. And I'm going to flip over my base because remember that our screws are going through the bottoms. So here's a screw. Make sure that you get the screw selected. It's better that way. Yeah, I'm going to put this back to an isometric view so things get a little bit more uh, centered. Sometimes that helps when you uh, get things moved too much around and you can no longer <laughs> find your parts. Happens sometimes, right? All right, and I'm going to flip it 
this way. So that one already has a nut, so I'm going to put a nut here on this guy. Flip that one over, looks good. And keeps getting away from me. <laughs> So we're going to be needing the uh, back of it now. So I think I'm going to sort of position like that. I might have selected that one badly. We're going to find out soon enough, huh? Oh, looked like I got it. here let's pick this up and see let's move it a little bit so i can see my nuts a little bit better okay looks good all right so those nuts are all placed how we would like them to be put this back to isometric and so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our screws and nuts into our cross brace here as well so i'm going to move them a little bit closer so i don't have to go searching and where are the other ones ah there they are Oh, missed that guy. All right. So we're just going to be putting screws into our cross spacing here. Oops, that guy was upside down, so we'll go down. Open up our last, oh, hey, that was not what I was trying to do. So let's flip this one. There we go. Okay. And let's get our other side going, actually. Here. Oh, I have no uh, mate selected. <laughs> that will help. And one more. Let's put this in ISO so that 
everything's not crazy. There we go. When all else fails. And this guy needs to be flipped. Apparently that didn't happen the way it was supposed to. So. There we go. Got it. All right. So I actually think we're going to end our video right here. Um, I think you guys know how to put those last four nuts on. Um, you sort of see how this all goes together and we're in good shape. So that's it for today. Bye.